Hey guys, SGT here. Kind of an emergency update. Uh, was wanting to talk with Bix Weir yesterday. We connected briefly and decided let's talk today. And now the markets have calmed down just a bit. Basically, Bix is saying everything is happening according to plan. Bix, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm uh, really busy these days watching all the action. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Uh, I put out a little note today uh, at SGT Report saying, did the elite send a signal yesterday that a market bottom had been reached because the S&P 500 finished down yesterday 6.66%? And Bix, you know how those elite love to use their secret coded numerology. <laughs> I, I do, but I, I don't think they, they've signaled that, that uh, we're, we've hit a bottom. I think... I think what's going on right now with the Dow is that the Fed is meeting today. They, they're supposed to release something at 11.15, and I think what they're going to do is make a gigantic mistake. And then in the days following, you're going to see another continuation of this crash so that they put the focus on the Fed managing the monetary system and making mistakes as they do it. Next, let's talk about your e-blast this week. The Dow has tanked you know, a couple thousand points in short order, and um, one of your more recent notes says, now the end game kicks into high gear. This is a new reality. You really truly believe that everything is going according to plan, huh? Uh, yes, I do. And, and things will transpire over the next, you know, from now to the end of the year, we're going to see a continual decrease, an increase in the velocity of that decrease, and we're going to see... The, the main battles right now for the bad guys are in the silver markets, and they are doing absolutely everything they can to project to the world that silver is not the place to be, silver is not a monetary metal, and silver is not a safe haven. Now, of course, we know different. We know that that's complete bullshit, and the the battles that are going on, it's kind of like if you ever watched Star Trek and – just when they're going to get blasted out of space, they say transfer all power to the forward shields. That's what's going on right now. The banks are trying their best to protect silver and not gold, although they're both run off computer programs. Silver is the metal that can destroy the entire monetary system. Taking out J.P. Morgan would start a, a crash in the derivatives market that is unrecoverable, and that's where all their power is going. Protect the silver market so that people don't rush in and buy physical silver. Yeah, those of us who understand this uh, silver story know that we're right. We know that we're in the right. We know that we're on the right side of the trade if we're long, especially if we have physical metal. And, um, you know, frankly, as disappointing as the recent near-term silver uh, performance has been, relative to the dumping and the, the absolute uh, annihilation of the stock market and stocks, silver has really helped retain purchasing power. It's actually helped us retain our wealth. It hasn't crashed, and, and that's that's the, the bright side. But um, it does feel like silver should have gone up 4 5 6 $7 over the past week if it was going to track gold. What is your uh, perception of where we're headed still over the next six months? Because it seems to me as long as these guys have the ability to crush silver with endless paper, we're we're never going to get past 50. You're right, except there's a few things to think about. Remember back when you know silver went from $25 in January to $50 by May 1st. That was Bill Daly, who is uh, Obama's chief of staff now. He was in charge of the silver rigging at J.P. Morgan. Now he's sitting right next to the president. He allowed it to go up to 50. He slammed it down. It's still on a computer program. The The key is that where would we be today if we started all this trouble at $50 before they slammed it? Would we, you know, if you run the scenario, they've been slamming it ever since May 1st, silver should be $200, $300 today if it was allowed to trade freely from May 1st on. So you need to put everything into perspective. Yes, silver hasn't gone down that much compared to the stock market and things like that, but where should silver be if it was allowed to trade freely from, say, May 1st on, it should be two, $300. But that is part of the frustration. I mean, it's. I'm just saying, you know, sunny side is that it didn't crash, um, but still it, 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 it gets a little frustrating when we know that it's being manipulated to stay at these low levels. You wrote in an e-blast earlier in the week, you wrote, uh, quote, 
very important. There's a serious lesson that the world must learn before we return to a gold-silver standard. That lesson is that unbacked fiat money is a curse on humanity. The good guys have cleared the way for massive hyperinflation to destroy the global unbacked fiat monetary system as a lesson. That's a brutal lesson, Bix. It's going to destroy uh, a lot of people, the middle class, the working poor, folks that are not prepared are going to be absolutely devastated. I, I, I know it's a brutal lesson, but in order to get full buy-in on a return to the gold standard, the lesson must be learned. People don't understand today, in the United States especially, that there is no free lunch. You cannot print wealth. That is, it's a fallacy. We've been living in this, in this fantasy world for so long, people have to learn this lesson in order for us to go forward. Otherwise, we are going to get sucked into the debt trap. We will never get free from where we are, of these bankers controlling our lives. It is, a, it is a difficult lesson, but it must be learned. Well, and ultimately, I think that the lesson needs to be learned by the people, but boy, it's time for those bankers to learn a lesson. I mean, to manipulate humanity as they've done for literally hundreds of years is just beyond the pale, and I, I think there's a lot of us that are sitting in, you know, in my shoes, people that feel the way I do want to see these people pay, because they've gotten away literally with murder for so long, Bix. You conclude on this email blast, you write, quote, watch for the banksters to implode over the next few months. We're we're seeing some of that happen with uh, the action in uh, Citigroup stock, Bank of America stock. Is this truly getting to be sort of the 11th hour for these guys? It is. And, and you know, there will be retribution. There will be investigations into all of this once, once the truth comes out. Now, part of that is going to be the announcement by the CFTC that there was manipulation in the silver markets by J.P. Morgan there's a whistleblower. Everything's all lined up. They've got plenty of proof. They've been waiting for the moment, and that moment is very near. I would, I would between now and the end of the year, that's going to happen. And just imagine what that's going to do to the, to the understanding and the psyche behind silver. And and if if they do that and remove J.P. Morgan from their position of controlling the market, we will get back to a free market in silver. Who knows what that would be? You know. Things things are rapidly changing. Okay, Bix. Well, before we let you go here, we you know we just wanted to do a quick check in, keep this to a one part interview. Um, we want people to understand that if you are in silver, you are in the right trade. If you're in gold, you've done extremely well over the past couple of weeks. But ultimately, if you look at the long term charts, silver has still outperformed gold in the ten year, the five year, the three year, the one year chart. You had a uh, subscriber ask you recently, why hasn't silver taken off? It went up to forty two, and now it's down to thirty eight. I'm sure this is on your reader's minds. Please comment. And I think you just did, but let's just sum up here because I want people to realize that what you're talking about is basically that the end is going to come like a thief in the night. This thing could snap to 100 or 200 in very short order once this system finally breaks once and for all. Am I putting words in your mouth or is that accurate? Yes, that's, that, that is accurate. And you know, when it will come, I'm putting together a, a timeline right now. Hopefully it will be out this week. Um, and it, it kind of breaks down what my timeline is over the next. All of this should transpire over the next three or four months, and and things are going to change rapidly. Just sit tight, wait it out. If you have physical silver already, hold on to it. If you don't have it yet, there's still people selling it, so get out there and get as much as you can to prepare for what's coming. As Jim Sinclair has always said, uh, it takes a, uh, a real patient uh, trader, and there's precious few of them, to be right and sit tight. So I guess that's what we're saying, folks. Be right, now sit tight. So, Bix, last question. I'd be remiss not to ask you about what's going on in the Eurozone. We are seeing more cracks in the armor of this Eurozone story than we're seeing even uh, maybe in the United States. What do you foresee for the uh, Euro currency and then the dollar? Uh, if, you, if you listen to Lindsay Williams... The euro is going to go before the dollar, and it'll be about a week that it takes from the the crash of the euro to the crash of the dollar. I I'm on that page, but but it's all fiat currencies are blowing up now. The the entire unbacked monetary system is unsustainable, and we're going to learn that lesson very very painfully over the next few months. Okay, and uh, parting words of wisdom. Any last thoughts? Um, <laughs> I would say. Remember when you buy physical gold and physical silver that those that's money that you have in your in your 
safe deposit, well, hopefully not in your safe deposit box, in your safe, that is money. It's, you can't look at it as an investment. Look at it as money, as, as your future wealth and your future checking account is held in those physical coins. Okay, Bix. Well, we know you've got a subscription-based service, but you also have a lot of good free information uh, over on your website. How do people find you? Just come over on uh, roadderuda.com, R-O-A-D-T-O-R-O-O-T-A.com, and uh, sign up uh, for a free email blast and uh, take a look at all the interesting stuff that's there. Okay. Hey, Bix, uh, thanks for the quick update, and uh, we'll check in again uh, as uh, as action in the market warrants. Um, certainly within a month, we'll check in, but maybe sooner. Thanks a lot, Bix. Thanks, Sean. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for all your support. Good night.